How can you tell if a snake is venomous? If you're in the US, I got some great ID tips for you. First off, never use a single trait to ID a snake. Always use two or more traits. The best way to tell if a snake in the US is venomous is to look at the mouth. If you see dark vertical stripes or bars on the upper lip, kind of like Jack Skellington, you're probably safe. But hold on, let's go a little deeper. The only venomous snakes native to the lower 48 are rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths, and coral snakes. Rattlers, cottons, and coppers are all pit vipers. They have big holes below their eyes and above their nostrils. These are heat sensing pits. They also have angry eyes. And if it's light outside, not dark, they'll have slit shaped pupils like a cat. None of the pit vipers in the US have those dark vertical mouth lines. Rattlesnakes obviously have the rattle on the tail. Copperheads have a distinct Hershey kiss shaped pattern on the side of their body, while cottonmouths will have a pixelated triangle pattern with a dot in the middle. Gopher snakes or bull snakes, water snakes, and hognose snakes are harmless colubrid snakes. And they're confused with pit vipers all the time. These guys all have the dark, prominent vertical mouth lines. They also have round pupils all the time, and they don't have heat pits. Hoggies also have a cute little shovel nose. Pit vipers also have wider heads, while colubrids have narrower heads, but colubrids like this water snake will often flatten their heads to imitate vipers when they're scared. Coral snakes are elapid snakes related to cobras and sea snakes. They look kind of like colubrids. They have narrow heads, round pupils, and they don't have heat pits. U.S. coral snakes have red bands touching yellow bands. They also have black heads and black and yellow tails. No red on the tail. We've all heard the phrase, red on yellow, Mercafello, red on black, friend of Jack. This works as a general guideline in the lower 48, but there are exceptions. Shovel nose and long nose snakes can have red on yellow, but they have yellow noses and red on their tails. And some random individual coral snakes have no red at all, but they still have the black head and the yellow and black tail. Also, the red on yellow phrase does not work anywhere outside the continental United States. There are coral snakes in South America with red on black and red heads, and they do not mess around. If you can't tell what species it is, keep your distance and it should leave you alone. There are tons of stories of people being chased by snakes, but we'll tackle that in another video. Snake Identification Group on Facebook is a great resource. They can ID a snake in under five minutes and tell you how to deal with it. Stay safe out there. What critter should I cover next? Follow me and let me know down below.